Hi, welcome to our channel. So today we're gonna bring you guys travel to Jeju Island in South Korea. Let's go. Today we have spot the ten places to visit in Jeju Island. Jeju Island is located in the most southern part of South Korea. It's a very popular holiday destination. It's known as the Hawaii of South Korea. Because here, you can find lots of warm weather, lush countryside, and beautiful beaches. To arrive in Jeju Island, you can fly from your destination into Jeju Island International Airport in Jeju City. Jeju is also accessible from Busan by ferry. However, this journey takes a longer time, between 3 and 12 hours. We visited Jeju Island in June last year. As we didn't drive, we use both buses and taxis. It is easy to get around and still affordable. So for those of you who don't drive, don't worry too much. In this video, we'll show you the 10 places to visit in Jeju Island. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Mount Harasan Mahasan or Mount Hara is a dormant volcano and stands 1950 meters above sea level. It's located in the center of Jeju Island. Before you set out to climb the submit, ensure the weather is good and start early. The climb to the submit and return takes about 8 hours. There are also other shorter trails to climb. These trails do not reach the submit. The Yongsu Trail takes about 2.5 hours one way with awesome scenery along the way. Number 2, Ole Jeju Trail Ole means winding coastal trail in Korean. This coastal trail goes around the south coastline with a total distance of 422 kilometers. There is a total of 26 trails and each trail is about 16 kilometers on average. Each trail is a scenic walk that will bring you to various viewpoints and landscapes including small villages, beaches, farms, and forests. Number 3. Seongsan Il-Chongbong Seongsan Il-Chongbong is located on the east of Jeju Island. It's an 82 meter high cone formed by a volcanic eruption several thousand years ago. The cone has a green crater at the top. It takes about an hour to climb up and down. For those who are early risers, you can catch the sunrise from the crater. This is the best spot to view the sunrise.
Number four, Jusan Jolly Cliff. Jusan Jolly Cliff is located in the southern coast of Jeju Island in the Jungmun Tourist Complex area. The cliff has many stone pillars formed by lava. These stone pillars can be seen along the coast, forming a spectacular sight. The pillars are shaped like hexagons, similar to those found at the giant causeway in Northern Ireland. Number five, Chen Yu Jun Falls. The first waterfall falls from a cliff, goes to the second waterfall, and then continues to the third one. Number 6, Yomiji Botanical Garden Yomiji Botanical Garden is the largest botanical garden in Asia. It's located in the south of Jeju Island in the Jomon Tourist Complex area. The inner garden has about 2,000 different kinds of rare subtropical plants. At the center of the indoor garden is a 38 meter tall observation tower. To see the spectacular view of the area, don't forget to go to the 7th floor of the tower. The outdoor garden consists of several cultural gardens as well as international gardens from different countries such as Japan, France, Italy and Korea.
Number seven, Teddy Bear Museum. Jeju Teddy Bear Museum is located in the south of Jeju Island in the Jungmun Tourist Complex area. It's a museum dedicated to teddy bears, opened in April 2001. The museum has a display of teddy bears dressed to mimic famous personalities or to showcase actual events. Both adult and children will surely find the display very interesting and amusing. There is also a sculpture park and zoo outside, where you could see the teddy bears in many different actions and faces. You'll definitely get lots of photo opportunities with the bears here. <laughs> Number 8, Siop Jikoji. Siop Jikoji is located at the east coast of Jeju Island. Admission to this attraction is free. It's a beautiful coastline with Seom San Il Chong Bong Peak seen in the background. Walk all the way to the top of the hill where there is a lighthouse. In springtime, you can find lots of canola flowers on the hill. Do not miss the sunset here as it is. Absolutely spectacular. Number 9. Yongmyori Coast. Yongmyori Coast is located on the southwest coast of Jeju Island. It's a sandstone bed built up from layers of sand over millions of years. With constant erosion from the waves, these layers form into a majestic rock. Draw along the coast from one end to the other end and enjoy the spectacular view. Time your visit properly as this attraction will be closed during the high tide. Number 10, Halim Park. Halim Park is located in the west of Jeju Island. This is a large park with a variety of landscape gardens. Check out some of the gardens here. For example, the Jeju Stone and Bonsai Garden, Water Garden and Subtropical Botanic Garden.
There's also a folk village with interesting stone sculptures and traditional Jeju village huts for both children and adults to enjoy. This spot is located next to Hope J Beach, which is a very beautiful beach. The most popular sites are the two leaf caves within the park. We hope you've enjoyed the 10 places to visit in Jeju Island. We hope it's useful to you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. And make sure to turn the subscribe button from red to grey. See you guys next time when we bring you travel again. Bye!